LaMelo Ball, MB1, the one of one. He will be taking on Anthony Edwards of the Minnesota Timberwolves. It, it should be a serious encounter, ladies and gentlemen, reliving the amazing draft class that it was. You know, back when LaMelo Ball was drafted, it was a crazy situation because, in my humble opinion, LaMelo Ball should have been drafted number one in the 2020 draft. But unfortunately, for some strange odd reason, he found himself getting picked number three. You know, and some people might say, hey, man, that's a hell of a top pick. I mean, what's the big deal? Uh, man, this is, listen, this is a very big deal. You know, uh, it was there's no reason in the world why LaMelo Ball should have slipped like that. But, I mean, it is what it is. I, I want to definitely give credit to Mr. Anthony Edwards. These two will be linked. And this is not an indictment on Anthony Edwards. You know, um, I think he was definitely worthy of, you know, the all-star selection that he received. I mean, he's a, he's a, he's another top young player, you know, uh, with a great future ahead of him, you know, in Minnesota. Let's see if he can truly become that top number one option and lead the Minnesota Timberwolves to greener pastures. I know for I know one thing's for sure, two things for certain. It's no question that LaMelo Ball, you know, uh, can lead, you know, the Charlotte Hornets to greener pastures and, you know, to heights never before seen imagined. I don't want people to start, you know, getting selective amnesia. We got to remember something. You know, uh, LaMelo Ball, you know, Ever since he's been in the league, I mean, this dude has been playoff bound. We got to remember that. He's been playoff bound ever since he stepped in. They was messing around with the play-in for two consecutive seasons. Obviously, this year, you know, due to all of the situations, we all know what happened. We don't need to get on into it, the Bridges situation, and it was so much. We're going to be going on for the next half hour if I get into all of those situations. But nonetheless... Um, Anthony Edwards and LaMelo Ball, you know, they're, they're, they may not ever admit it, but I do know when they do play each other, it's got to be a little extra emphasis. And also, LaMelo should have um, made the all-star selection, you know, because but the only thing is his team, you know. But what I was alluding to is, you know, the Hornets are, are not as bad as as it looks right now. You know, they they were already a team that was on the come up trying to, you know, keep their heads above water. But for them to get snake bitten like they got snake bitten, I mean, it, you, a great team would have, um, you know, had to reel back and, and regroup, let alone the Charlotte Hornets who don't have, you know, as many reinforcements or as much opportunity as some of these other organizations. So they really truly must play their cards right. You know, uh, but give credit to Anthony Edwards. This guy, he, he look at the situation he done walked himself into. I mean, you playing with Carl Anthony Towns. I mean, LaMelo Ball don't have nothing like that. You know, there's no Carl Anthony Towns. Where, listen, I'm be real with you. My, in my humble opinion, this is Carl Anthony Towns' team. You know, and that's like I, I want to state again. This is not an indictment on him. You know, uh, Anthony Edwards this season is playing well. You know, this season he's averaging 24 points. He's shooting 46% from the field, 36% from three, five rebounds, four assists, and, and getting a steal in there. You know, so, and he's definitely seen himself a upward trajectory improvement every single season. His rookie year, he averaged 19 points. To set his second season, he averaged 21 points. And now in his third year, he upped it to 24, nearly 25 points per game and up in his percentage every single year. Also, his three-point percentage has risen every single year as well, where now is at a 36. So Anthony Edwards definitely deserves respect. I mean, this is not, not you know, but I just feel like LaMelo Ball is in a completely different situation, you know. So um, you might see, I, it, it, I don't know, you know, but I just personally feel that LaMelo Ball, you know, I know that he, he's better than Anthony Edwards, in my humble opinion. Obviously, people are going to say what they want to say, but Anthony Edwards can't do the things that LaMelo Ball could do, you know. is I like to see if some of these people wasn't around, you know, and like I stated, look what's going on with Minnesota. We got to understand something. They traded, um, they got Rudy Gobert as well, you know, so I mean, they got so many people to buffer this guy. It's, not, it's ridiculous. So it's to the point where you be, it's almost like you in the can't you and you, you there's no way you can lose you know there's no way you can lose with all of the stuff that 
they put out for you. And clearly, you still found yourself in the seventh seed. Uh, possibly, if, if the way things are moving, you're going to end up in the plane. The teams ahead of you are the Dallas Mavericks and the Phoenix Suns. So clearly, those teams are moving in an upwards trajectory. You know, so it's going to be tough, you know, for these guys to try to figure out a way to wiggle through and get themselves above water. Because before you know it, you know, if they keep messing around, they can find themselves completely out the picture. And I don't think nobody wants to see that, you know, but at the end of the day, it is what it is. Um, we're just going to keep uh, keeping this stuff going for you, man. We're going to be live as well. Make sure you hit that like button and you subscribe, man. We got a lot to discuss, you know, when this game comes on. I'm, I'm telling you, we, we should expect fireworks. I wouldn't be surprised if we see an early back and forth. You know, uh, between them, you know, just to establish themselves. Like I said, they're never, they, they're not, they're going to small talk it. And I think it's not, and, it, and it's no beef or nothing like that, no issue or trash talk. I think it's competitive trash talk. I mean, the one, one field, one over the other. We got to understand something. Lamella was, was um, picked as an all star, you know, last year. Anthony Edwards felt like he should have been an all star. This year, Anthony Edwards is an all-star, but LaMelo, we all know he should be an all-star, and the reason why he's not, and, and along with the injury that he uh, suffered, we got to understand something, LaMelo missed time. So all of these things, you know, um, you know, just, it, it's just crazy. You know, alludes to what I was saying in terms of getting snake bitten. So the Hornets are just in a tough spot. I think next season will be a better time to gauge, you know, you know, Charlotte, you know, because just they're in two different situations, you know, so it is what it is at the end of the day. Even some people may say, hey, LaMelo Ball, and if he's, if things are different situations, LaMelo got free range to do everything, you know, I would, I, but I just feel like with LaMelo having free range, you know, to control the team pretty much be the driving force and everything, I believe he can get more out of a team than Anthony Edwards. Anthony Edwards you know, it, it looks deceiving. You had D'Lo over there. I mean, the leadership, they had incredible leadership, you know, where he didn't have, and then people still questioned him. You you seen what Carl Anthony Towns, the stuff about his diet, things of that nature. Nobody's questioning anything involving the mellow ball, you know, so that's something I want to point out right now. There's no, there's absolutely no questions involving anything involving Mr. LaMelo Ball. So it's going to be a major fireworks, you know. We got Friday night, Charlotte Hornets, man, Buzz City. Make sure y'all hit that like button. And if you're new, you most definitely hit that subscribe button. Man. We're going to keep a lot of stuff coming. It's going to be an amazing night, a great game. I'm expecting high numbers. Who knows? We might get a neck-and-neck -neck game. Do not count out Charlotte. If you do, you're going to be messed up. Now, every time you think they're going to get blown out, they end up messing around and winning. It's Flight Sports TV, man. Hit that like button. Peace and love. We're going to be live, too.